Hello and welcome back. So, we continue where we left off. And that is stuck in some random cave. No idea where we're going. Whether or not we're going the right way is still completely and utterly beyond me. Um, the, the only way that I'm seeing down is where that rope was that we saw. So I'm just going to literally go down there. But the issue I'm having is finding it. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Now we've seen the last episode. We threw a few flares down there. Couldn't see anything. Some flashing. Is that just a flare that I threw? Don't know. Lots of water though. Idea what way we should be going. Oh, hang on, look, metal. Is that metal? Right, this might be a good sign. Oh no, don't worry. Just done one big U turn. One big loop of the place. Check all this way out. Is there a way that we can walk up here? It's kind of an edge to it this way. You can see how dark it is down there without um, our rebreather light on. Let's try and walk around the edge of this. No. If we were meant to go that way, it would be easier to do. What's this? What are we got here? No, oh, it's just that generator again. Right, let's try and get on these platforms here. Must be a reason why these are here. Okay, now we're up on to the edge of whatever the bloody hell this is. Hmm. Nope, no idea where I'm going. Maybe at this point. Use the torch. Where does this lead us? Where to go? Okay, now clearly, do we die? Do we swim somewhere? There's some cutouts at the side there. I can't see anything there. Now, the only thing that that light was pointing at was the rope. Obviously, I've moved it since then. Why would it point at that rope? Unless it is, like, if you fall down here and it's a way to get back up again. Alright, let's go back up to the top and see if we can find anything. Maybe we'll take off the rope reaver when we get to the top again. Hmm. not the way we should be going let's take this off if it's not the way we should be going what on earth oh where on earth do we go yeah this is definitely the way why did I not realise this sooner alright back to our torch uh, our lighter sorry we definitely have it a little bite to eat. Nothing that way, come on. 
can't see a thing. Oh, what have we got here? Okay, looking a bit more like it. I've got a bloody clue what it is, but... Right, there's something up ahead here. Let's just go for that. So I'm just stumbling around in the dark at the moment. Yeah, why not? Let's go. For all I know, we've just done one big loop. In fact, that's 100% what... Oh no, maybe not. Alright, fair. Fair enough. Back to the torch. The torch is better in here. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. Although... This slingshot hasn't been good for a lot of things. Why is it not? Is it just me being poor? It's just going straight through his head. Alright. Just clean up the evidence. Wow. Bloody hell. What are these, like, Virginias? Sorry ladies, excuse me. Just have a drink. Right, um... It's no wonder there is so many mutants and cannibals. A bit leftover food, we'll eat that if there's something in there. No. What the hell? I mean, you've got to question why. As a game mechanic, they'd let you just sit there. I mean, why? Pretty sure I heard something then. Little drink. I missed it when this place had power everywhere. Oh, I don't want to go back into the caves. is easier to no nope. <clears throat> let's just rock around with a spear thank you flares there's nothing down that way oh really Come again. Of course, the elevator works. Okay. Question is up or down? I'm still concerned the fact we have just left Timmy down there. I mean, we've done all that. Chuck that little girl in. Um, trying to just get myself prepared in case anything is up here. Man, that's bright. 
All right. So clearly it was up that we'd gone. So where the hell is this? Because I had not seen any of this from the ground. All right, snowing as well. Yeah, look, there's snow on top of the glass. Oh, I'd love to know. I wonder if you can find out on the map. No, it's just saying caves. We have explored a lot of the cave. Okay. they're saying that we can save Timmy but we've got to choose from these three children for no we can't put somebody through the same thing we did surely or we got emergency shut no let's shut this down that's what Timmy would want Simple as that, is that it? <laughs> that is amazing when you look at it like that. In fact, we ran through the top of that bit, left hand side down there. It's when we were searching for the ball. We've been through a lot this map, more favouring the left side than the right. happens next but we're off I personally think we made the right choice there from a moral point of view um this does seem like it is probably end of the game and if that is the case then I feel the only thing I regret about all of this we didn't completely and utterly finish our base off and that is gutting but it's not over yet. What have we got here? Back to the cave, which means back to the lighter. Now, they're still giving us items, and I feel like they wouldn't do that unless there was a reason behind it. Very difficult to see down there. Bibles on the floor. So what happens now? Alright, we're going in. <clears throat> Not that one. At least we got red paint off of us. So 
unequip that, just make it a little bit easier to see. <laughs> that is a very long way down. Why is there just random cups of coffee here, there and everywhere? Did they all try getting away, I take it, and this was a resort? No idea which way to go. Obviously, there was a rope leading us all the way down. We are going to have to try and get warm somehow. I don't know if this works. Let's give it a try. I mean, you'd think it would, but clearly it hasn't. Let's just drink and eat, try and keep energy up that way. Just ran out of cloth. Let's just try and get the hell out of here. Oh, that must be the wrong way. There is some light. Come on, just a bit of cloth. What have we got in here? Okay, dynamite. It's a bit late to be finding that. More coffee. Okay, looks like we are getting out this way. Straight through. Oh, of course. We make it outside and we're already cold. We make it straight into this. Now what? I mean, I feel like that is probably the game completed. Okay, we've got a flare gun. What else we got here? I think that's probably it. Some pictures. We are going to have to warm up somehow. Um, I'll tell you what, let's, what have we got to do? I think, guys, that is it completed. Um, what we have unlocked are some props. We can make Timmy, wife, Timmy sitting, wife sitting, a car, TV, dog. Um, and also, we have probably lost our mind enough that, look, we've got custom effigies. We've got small effigy, arm effigy, large effigy. So that would keep them away um, if they were intending to attack again. I feel like the only real way to end this series is to get back to our base um, and end it there. Plus, it gives us a good opportunity along the way just to say, you know, our farewells and thank yous. Um... And give our honest opinion on how the ending was and what I thought of it. So, uh, technically, I want to make it to that blue symbol because that's our raft. So, overall, I personally 
have loved I, I've loved the forest for a very very long time anyway um, this is my first time actually completing it and it didn't disappoint me it did not disappoint I was even though I knew there was an end game boss obviously I'd never gone past that point and for me the fact that it carried on going and the little twist at the end where you have got to choose I thought that was brilliant and finding Timmy I wasn't actually sure if you did or didn't find Timmy and to find him well the way he was and then what he what you could have potentially done to save him it's a nice little moral decision in a, a survival game that it's not really driven by the story if you really wanted to you could turn up and not once go after Timmy and try and save him um so yeah I was I was really surprised by that by the story element towards the end it really strengthened up as soon as you committed to go down for it is there a couple of ways you could shortcut this? Yeah, I can see how people do a lot of quick records on this game doing it because for that in-game boss, I felt I was really underprepared. And in the end, I got by with a couple of weak spears, um, a bad aim with the spear as well, keep in mind, and just a very glitchy, lucky throw with the whole sticky grenade. Um, I mean, in boss fights, you take everything you can to beat them. Especially when we were getting very dangerously low. But yeah, that you could easily survive in there without food as well. The amount you come across. As long as you bring enough for, I don't know, 30 minutes real life time, you'll be fine. But overall, it's just brilliant. If you go away from the story side of it, just the base building, the survival. As survival games go, this is one of the best you could possibly play. It's terrifying, yet it makes you want to carry on playing. You want to keep building. You want to keep progressing and finding new weapons. I mean, you think we actually went into that cave initially. From this one here, right at this point here, weirdly enough, walking past it now. We went into that cave just to have a little explore. We wanted to find the, the climbing axe, but we found the chainsaw. We found the climbing axe a little bit further on. And from there, we committed. We went that little bit deeper and we carried on going. And as soon as we did carry on going, we then discovered that we could literally climb down to the sinkhole from about the midway point I'd heard people riding the old turtle shell down there but we physically climbed down there just taking it nice and slowly oh, I thought it was a cannibal on me um, we took it nice and slowly and edged our way down there and it was absolutely fine doing it that way and from there we were able to pick a few of them off avoid the big boys and actually just go straight for that end game um, which wasn't as quick as I thought it was going to be to be honest with you but we did get there. We did do it. Um, but yeah, overall, as a survival game, as it goes, this is up there. This is probably one of the best I've played. I mean, they're all... You, survival games these days are so similar. That same um, basic rule to them. But at the same time, a lot of them are individual in their own different way. So none of, no each one, although it follows the same rule, none of them are the same. You can compare them. You could easily say that... I mean, I've completed Stranded Deep um, on our Let's Play. Check that out on the channel. I've played a hell of a lot of survival games. Long Dark being one of them. Obviously, Subnautica I'm doing the Let's Play on now. You've got Don't Starve, Ark. i played a lot of them. And as I said, they all follow that basic rule. But they're all so different. And this is just a brilliant way of making a survival game with a... a, a to be fair, when you think about it, although you don't have to push it, great, great storyline. Really great storyline. Um, bit emotional as well for it for that that storyline. If you're, especially as a parent, you look at it, and that's a hard choice to make. A very hard choice. But what this survival game does very well is the horror element. Horror element to it. Stranded does it very well with um, going out to sea and having, you know, shark attacks that could happen any time that will flip you, your raft over. Um, you don't really fear the water in this as much. I personally don't, anyway, compared to Stranded. It's the forest you actually fear. And the clues in the name, it can be terrifying. But if you can get past the, terror, the terrifying side of it, there's so much beauty to this title. And it's been absolutely brilliant to play along, so... I'm very, very pleased to have this ticked off as a survival game that I've also now completed because it's been on my to-do list for a long, long time. And I'm glad to have that ticked off now. Brilliant, brilliant. And we might return to this in the future. I might just get the base completely finished off in the future and we'll go from there. But for now, this is... I think this is the perfect place to leave it. Uh, we completed it. 
our base was, to be fair, we could have stayed another four or five episodes at our base, carried on making it defendable. We weren't getting that worried about it in the end. We were quite self-reliant. We had a farm, we had permanent food coming in, and that was about really going out and doing many hunting missions in the end. I didn't have to, didn't have to do it because we just had food coming in. Our base was coming along nicely. Yeah, there was a lot more things I wanted to get sorted. I didn't actually intend to go for the end game as quickly as we did there. But it was just, we were halfway there. I thought, why not? It's just, why not go for it? You can see in the left-hand corner the amount we still had left to get for our base. Wouldn't it have taken us long? An episode or two and we'd have done it. But, um, yeah, in the end, we didn't need to do it. Didn't need to do it. Gutted that I didn't get the base finished. But as I said, we can always return to that. That's the beauty of these. Maybe I'll return for a little special at some point and we'll um, finish it off. But now that the mini game review is done, excuse me, I struggle with rafts. Um, we can say our thank yous. Big, big thank you to all of you that have started from the beginning and carried on watching this. This was actually my first official Let's Play on this channel. And. I started with just doing one episode a week along with uh, another Let's Play and kind of neglecting this one. Um, but I increased it to two episodes a week and I'm very glad I did that because I I was able to, instead of just doing one a week and kind of plodding along for it, I was really able to commit and get one episode done after the other and then get them out for you guys to enjoy. So it's been an absolute pleasure doing it. So a big, big thank you to you all for taking the time to tune in and watch it every single week. Um, I'm very, very humbled by it. Especially since this is quite an old game now. Um, so to have so many of you tune in each week. Watch it all fully. Because the episodes are quite long. But you watched it all fully. And you always give kind words. Kind support. And great tips and advice as well. So I hugely appreciate it. As I've always said. The survival community is the best community out there. They're the most helpful. They're the ones that give the best advice. The best criticisms as well. And it's just, it's just brilliant. A brilliant, brilliant community. So thank you all very much. It has been a long, long road. Um, but we've done it. We've officially done it. And just to prove that we've done it, go to our to-do list. We've got nothing to do. We're done. All we've got to do is say goodbye. So big, big thank you to everyone. You all know who you are, old and new, whether you're watching this as it comes out now, a couple of weeks, years, month, months, it, it doesn't matter down the line. Whoever tunes in to watch this, big thank you for taking the time to watch it. Check out the channel for anything else survival. We've still got Subnautica Let's Play coming, so although this is over, there's still Let's Plays coming. And once that's done, we've got even more coming to the channel, so stand by for that. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you again. And I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.